Hello, Book World. Um, I want to welcome you to a new reading vlog. In this vlog, we're going to read Confessions, which I have read, so I will tell you all about it. And we're going to read Queen Bees and Wannabes. And this is what the movie Mean Girls is based on. So this is going to kind of be a Mean Girls reading vlog slash movie watch well i'm going to read the book and then shane and i are going to go see the movie and get something to eat and i will let you know what i think about the movie and what i think about this book but as far as confessions this book is by connie minato it is about this teacher who has lost her daughter she died in a very horrible way and she suspects a student may may have been involved in this. It is a translated work and it is translated beautifully. I can't tell you any more than that about the book except that the the mother is upset over losing her daughter and the police think that it was an accident that it wasn't um uh, intentional murder. So if you get a chance to read this book, I definitely would pick this book up. I give it a five out of five stars. I know a lot of people have been talking about this book, especially on Book Talk, but definitely try to pick this book up if you can because it's amazing. So on to the reading vlog and we're going to read Queen Bees and Wannabes by Rosalind Wiseman.
Junji Ito. I was a dumb butt and sold my all my Junji Ito books, and I'm getting them back. So, yeah. <laughs> So I am on page 168 of Queen Bees and Wannabes. There are a lot of interesting passages in this book. One such passage is six questions to ask your daughter. Do, you, do her friends compliment her? If so, what about? If they do compliment her, how does she respond? Does she believe what they're saying? But they're basically six questions to ask your daughter so that you can become more involved in her life. Not to the extent of being a helicopter mom, but figuring out your daughter, pretty much. It is very interesting. Uh, I'll give you my feedback when I finish, but so far, uh, it's intriguing. You're sick of my madness. Don't you tell me what I supposed to do You're better off without me Don't you tell me what I supposed to do When I'm walking on the streets half naked It's part of me, it's part of me When I'm making my brain make up It's part of me, it's part of me When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool Get out of my life I know what I I know what I'm supposed to do When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool I know what I, I know what I'm supposed to do I know what I'm supposed to do Hi, I just got back from seeing the movie Mean Girls and Shannon was nice enough to get me this cup I wasn't expecting to for it to be a musical, but it was, it was really, really good. I love musicals. I didn't think I was going to love the musical Mean Girls because I thought the character Regina would probably just be overdone, but they really gave Regina George's character some depth, and her voice wasn't a, a lyric soprano. It was she had an alto sounding voice, so it fit the it fit the character so much better. I got popcorn tin, and um, I I really didn't did enjoy the movie. I I don't know if Shannon enjoyed it as much as I did, but I I thought it was really good. I wasn't going in expecting it to be a musical. I didn't know what I was expecting, but it was a musical, and it was very very good. So if you get a chance to see it. Uh, check it out on iTunes or if you can see it in the theater. You you would really be missing out if you don't see it, if you love musicals. Hey, everyone. So, I have finished Queen Bees and Wannabes by Rosalind Wiseman. This is a very intriguing book. If you have a daughter and you want to help her through her teenage years middle school and high school years, the tweens and teen years, definitely pick this book up. Uh, there's a lot of great advice in it. It's different than the movie was, but it is really good and very informational. So if you're looking for an informational book to help guide you along um, with some advice as to how to help deal with certain things that may come up in your teenage daughter's life, such as eating disorders, um, clicks, things of that nature. Rosalind Wiseman actually based this book on the, she had a class that she taught called Empower, and she would go to different schools and she would teach this Empower class. And basically this book has a, a lot of the how-tos from her Empower class classes. I enjoyed the book as far as the information. I can't really score it because it was more of a book that had great advice, kind of like a Dear Abby kind of thing, but I don't have any children, but I do have nieces, and I have a great niece, and this is going to be very helpful. <laughs> and I think I might let my niece borrow this book for my great niece. <laughs> I have a book haul for you. I picked up a few books. 
This is my favorite cozy mystery series. And if you have not read this mystery series, you definitely want to. It's Honey Roasted is the last in the coffee shop mystery series. Cleo Cole is a writing duo of a husband and wife, and it is, it's beautifully written. All of them are very lyrical and they're very beautifully written. If you like, Cozy Mysteries, you'll, you definitely need to pick up this collaboration and the sets of these coffee, coffee house mystery series. If you're not sure what a cozy mystery is, it's kind of like a game of clues. And instead of being very violent and sometimes even gory, it just has puns and it's more of a game of clue, like who did this, who did that. Claire Cosey is the star of this Coffee House Mystery series, and she owns a coffee house. If you enjoy cozy mysteries, definitely pick this one up. I am on a Freedom McFadden kick. I wanted to read some books that would be interesting as far as the newer books that I haven't read. I wanted to read some newer Freedom McFadden books, so I picked Lock The Locked Door by Freedom McFadden. The Co-Worker by Frieda McFadden, which is, this is the book that I am going to dive into next. And Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. All of these, of course, are by Frieda McFadden. She's one of my favorite thriller authors, and I have not had any issues with any of the books thus far that she has written. So I'm I'm excited about reading those three books of hers. And I have a manga, finally. Uh, finally, my last book is a manga. Shannon just showed you her manga haul. She got some Junji Ito books that she has been wanting. She got rid of her Junji Ito books because she thought, mm, I'm not going to be interested in reading those anymore. And all of a sudden... Whoop, well, yep, she's interested in reading them. But I picked up Heartstoppers by Alice Osman. This is volume five in the series. And I'm going to go into the latest series of this Alice Osman series. That is it for this vlog. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. This is our reading channel only. I do have a personal channel called Mel's World. I do cup hunting videos on the other channel, Mel's World, and I go to different Starbuckses and Targets and show you all of the new cups that are out for each season. We On the last cap hunt, we went to the Target and we tried to find the Winter Stanley Tumbler. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and subscribe. And as always, we wish you peace, love, books, and coffee. Have a wonderful day. Bye.